My name is Amy Kurtz. I'm the author of the best-selling book, Kicking Sick, your go-to guide for thriving with chronic health conditions. I'm a health and wellness coach and a motivational speaker. So I was always a really lively kid. I never wanted to miss out on anything. I was totally healthy and fine. And then when I was 14 years old, I very suddenly developed debilitating back pain. One day I just went to get my math textbook off the floor to like run back to dance rehearsal. And at that moment, I felt a shooting pain go up my spine. I never felt anything like it and I wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew that it was serious. So that sent my parents and I on this long, windy journey of trying to figure out what was causing the pain and what the root cause of it was. I went to so many specialists, I saw so many different doctors and not one could tell me what the root cause of it was or say that it was food related. So unfortunately, in the 90s, the answer was to put me on some pretty heavy duty pain management medicine. And I lived basically on them for a good 10 years without any answers. And it really became a part of who I was. I was always in pain. I was always aware of feeling uncomfortable. The medicine worked for a while, but it just numbed everything. It wasn't an answer to the problem. So then when I was 25, I took a trip abroad. I went to Israel and I picked up a parasite infection. And it's as intense as it sounds. I gained 30 pounds in 30 days. My thyroid shut off. My hair was falling out in clumps. I couldn't keep food down. I couldn't go to the bathroom. I had a system down and it was really intense and so scary. And so I went back to what I knew. I went to a bunch of Western medicine specialists and I went to probably 10 different colon doctors. I was to the point where I was so frustrated and desperate for an answer. I've done every possible GI test, like every possible test you could ever think of probably three times because each doctor wanted to run their own set of tests. There was nothing coming up on these tests. And the answer that was given to me was, your colon's not working. I have no idea why. You should just remove it. And I fell on the floor, like hysterically crying because I really hit total rock bottom in that moment. I had spent years throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what would stick, desperate for an answer, wanted a cure. I just wanted to know how to help myself so I could get on living my life. And to hear those words with no reason, to say remove six feet of your intestines, well, I don't know why, but it'll probably be better, was not an answer for me. Finally, I went to somebody with a more integrative approach and they said they found the infection that I had and then they also found out that I had celiac. And But two days after I stopped eating gluten, all of my pain went away. And so I have lived with this debilitating pain for almost 10 years. Then two days after changing my diet, it all went away and I've never had pain since. So we clearly missed this very important piece of the puzzle. So I went from all the way west to all the way east and I've landed somewhere in between and found what worked for me. And it's not just in terms of medicine or what treats a symptom. For me, it was diet and movement and self-care practices and meditation, taking my body out of this constant stressed state um, and really connecting the dots. I like to think of the body as a house and you have to build your house on rocks, not on sand. And because my body was compromised for a long time and much of my youth, my system was really built on sand. So I had to go in, gut the whole house and open the windows and redo it so that I could really start to thrive in a way that I quite frankly never really knew was possible. I incorporated a highly plant-based diet. I started paying attention to the chemicals and what I was putting on my skin. I started to incorporate all different kinds of practices, things that could help my lymph system like rebounding or dry brushing. I tried different kinds of meditation to help my body come out of this fixed fight or flight state, which is very common when you're 
constantly in pain, your body adapts to a new way of functioning where it's always protective and you're always in survival and it creates chronic stress in the body. So a big part of my healing was trying to unwind that process and reteach my nervous system how to naturally function. You know, I grew up doing thinking that a pill solves a problem and while that Western medicine is so important and it's amazing, but it's only part of the equation. And for chronic illness, what I have learned is that it's just not enough.